Bridges are such great exercises for those that struggle with any type of knee or back pain, but you still want to strengthen and target the glutes or the buttock muscles. Now we want to eventually start to increase or add some degree of resistance, but a lot of people are not as comfortable laying an entire barbell on the hips. So what we have are the options to add a dumbbell onto the hip. So that's what I'll demonstrate today. So we're gonna use a rectangular pad. These are often found at the gym. If you're working out at home, you can use a couch cushion or even a regular bed pillow. It's just to protect this area up in the front because that's where the dumbbell is gonna go to actually help to add resistance to the bridge. So once you set your uh, pillow or couch cushion on the hips, you wanna place that dumbbell right on top of the actual hips themselves. When you lay back, you're gonna walk your feet back to about 90 degrees of a knee bend. Make sure that you lift your toes up to your shin and you just wanna lift the hips up in the air by pushing the heels firmly into the floor. Now make sure when you set up with this dumbbell on your hips, you're holding it behind the dumbbell because when you raise your hips up, I've had somebody somersault the dumbbell back into the chin. That does not feel good, so don't let that be you. All right, this looks like a nice setup position here, so I'm just gonna make sure I have the weight in hand, and I'm gonna push the heels into the floor, lifting the hips up, hold for a one second count, and then slowly come back down, tap the buttock to the floor, and drive those hips right back up into the air again, and rinse and repeat for your prescribed sets and repetitions. So, give that a shot. Let me know how it goes.